the London 2017 World Para-Athletics Championships wound down with an action-packed final day at the London Stadium. There wasn't much to cheer for for Indian fans as the day began with a 6th place finish for Jayanti Behra in the women's 400m T47 final. Rio 2016 gold medalist Li Lu of China took gold with a personal best time of 57.23 seconds. In the men's discus throw F46 final, two Indians were in the fray, but neither could manage a podium finish. Rohit Kumar finished fourth with a best throw of 46.50 meters, while day one's javelin throw F46 gold medalist Sundar Singh Gurjar finished eighth. In the women's 200 meter T44 final, Marlu van Rijn of the Netherlands produced a stunning performance in torrential rain to win the gold with the championship best time of 26.02 seconds. The former swimmer seemed completely unfazed by the weather and finished 1.11 seconds ahead of Germany's Ermgard Bensusen. The men's shot put F44 final featured what was perhaps the most incredible performance of the day as Trinidad and Tobago's Akeem Stewart broke a record that had stood for 20 years, not once, but twice. His first throw was 18.34 meters, while his fourth was a stunning 19.08 meters, shattering the old mark by 4.87 meters. The men's 4x100 meter relay T11-13 final witnessed some surreal proceedings in the pouring rain. Both the United States and Brazil failed to finish the race and Spain was declared the winner. However, it was later discovered that Spain had mistimed one of their baton exchanges and hence they were disqualified, leaving the Chinese team as the gold medalists by virtue of being the only team to finish the race successfully. And in the men's 4x100m relay T42-47 final, a similar farce was witnessed as Team USA appeared to have crossed the finish line before anyone else. But the team was later disqualified for a faulty changeover and Germany was given the gold. And with that, the most successful World Para-Athletics Championships in history drew to a close in pouring rain and with a real chance of the event returning to London in 2019.